Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to another video. Um, yeah, Minecraft server, let's play part two, I guess. <laughs> uh, today I am alone here on the server as, um, well, my friend is working and my partner is away, so I am gaming on my own. But as you can see, a few things have changed uh, since the last episode. I have tried. I I really have tried, okay, <laughs> to not like do anything without recording. Uh, ignore the pig. Uh, but it's really difficult when you just log in and you want to do something and then you start doing shit but you don't record. It's it's difficult. <laughs> um but yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I did record some stuff, but I haven't recorded much. Um, so, how about this? I'll show y'all a little time lapse I did uh, of a few random moments where I have been building, terraforming, and a bit of stuff. And, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, and yeah, you, you come back to me here alone afterwards, um, and I'll tell you a bit about what's been missed. Yeah.
All right, welcome back. I'm just gonna put on my armor again. So, uh, what's new on the server? Well, first thing I think you'll notice is the wheat. I have installed a resource pack called Stay True that basically makes the wheat look like this. Uh, it does have another a lot of other things, uh, like other textures. I didn't want that though, <laughs> so I just took out the wheat part basically, uh, and uh, yeah, we got some lovely wheat. Uh, as you can see, the, or as you probably saw during the time lapse, I didn't have the resource pack when I did a lot of the building. Uh, so, you know. Um, second thing is, I have installed vanilla tweaks, uh, both a few data packs that gives us these mini heads, uh, that gives us mobs, mob and player heads. Um, as well as a resource pack that gives me a bit more 3D things. Uh, this is the inside of my house. Don't mind. Um, and yeah, I have been making this leg terraforming as you saw in the time lapse. It is basically complete, on, at least under the surface. Um, there's going to be a tree there. That I haven't built yet, and yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna make it look nice here. Um, yeah, <laughs> and then the one of the main attractions, I guess, is the wheat field. I made this well, as you saw in the first episode. I'm gonna assume you've seen it, uh, but we had a little wheat field there that kind of stretched along the coast. And then my partner, uh, Yas, had started another small one over there. Uh, and I needed a lot of wheat, because if you don't know, you need wheat to make the, the packed mud that I used over here for the terraforming, this, and also these slabs. So I needed a lot of wheat. And so I started to expand the, the field. And then I got the idea of the rolling wheat field because I've been just trying to flatten out the area in general, trying to make sure that there is, uh, that the landscape looks a bit nicer. And yeah, this is what we ended up with. I am thinking of putting some more of this wheat on the edge, but one of the highlights, of course, is this little tree here I made. Um, it was a bit of a struggle, I'll be honest. I probably have too many of these heads around, but I think it looks absolutely lovely. And I like these sort of like willow tree, willow tree like trees are like my absolute favorite. It's like the only tree I can build, <laughs> the only custom tree I can make, but I used to love it. It's so it's so mythical, and yeah, uh, yes, was the one who came with the suggestion of putting one on, in the field, and yeah, it's absolutely cozy. I I used to love it so much, and then we have this house that you maybe saw the start of last episode. Here's the arch that I failed to replicate. Anyway. Uh, this is the community house that Yas has made. Um, here is a lot of random shit. And yeah, right now it carries both of their beds as I am. Um, I don't recognize that painting, but all right. Anyway, um, as I have, you know, my own. And if you're wondering about the style of the house. Uh, it's not my own style. I've just kind of adopted it. Uh, it's from a mod. I don't know which mod, but it's a mod that add villages. Uh, and in that mod, like uh, more villages or like better looking villages. 
and in that mud uh, like they have buildings in spruce biomes that look like this uh, and when I was playing on a mod pack uh, just you know on my own trying to have a bit of fun uh, I was living right by one of these villages and I decided to try to build in that style because I didn't know what to do for a house and yeah here we are so it's a style I've kind of adopted but yeah it's pretty cute uh, I can also inform that we, I, I have changed the difficulty to normal on the server. Uh, we had it on hard for like a while because of us doing a little drunken thing. Uh, it was a video uh, Miles or Bookshev was gonna upload where we first played. Wow, well, thank you, Rain. Uh, where we first l played uh, Lethal Company uh, and drank when we died, or I drank when others died, because I am too scared <laughs> to go into the building. And the one time I tried, I got lost on the way, and I ended up hiding in a corner. So that's something to watch on uh, Miles's or Bookshiv's channel. Uh, if I remember to link it, I shall do that. Either way... Oh, great thunder. Uh, the last episode, I, at the end, I went on a long adventure and I like, and I didn't gain anything from it. I was aiming to get spruce, but I didn't. Uh, too far. But I think I managed to find the spruce like three, four thousand blocks that direction. And then the mangrove um, that I use for the roof was in 6,000 blocks that direction, where I also found spruce on the way, which pisses me off, because I had just gotten it, and yeah, it was it was a whole thing. The only wood we don't have is acacia, but I don't think any one of us really builds with it. Well, except for like the nether trees we're missing those two because as you can see we don't have any portals so that's uh that's something we gotta resolve i am planning on making a portal soon or at least go mining for the obsidian i don't know what we're planning to do with with all of that but yeah with that you're basically caught up do i have a feather. One would hope I have one, considering how many chickens we have. But I don't think I do. Well, time to do a population control. I am sorry, my friends. Don't look at me like that. It's probably gonna hurt. Oh, I did it right away. Where's the door? Here it is. Out and gone. Alright. There we go. Population back in order. I have never made one of those like uh, archaeology brushes. Uh, I assume you need a stick. I, I know you need like copper right and then a feather yeah a brush there we go because fun fact I need uh, I need uh, a sniffer egg have I ever gotten one but I need the flowers. I should probably get some food. I forgot I composted all my access wheat I had. But that's why we have this little field right here.
used for some food. Well, the big field can be harvested in a pitch. It's a pain to re replant and use everything. So I'd rather do I'd rather do this with my little mini field. Get a good amount of food at once. This video will probably be a bit less edited than the last one. Since yeah, the last one was just all around fun crazy shit. So uh so I understand if in comparison uh this one is a lot more boring. But I hope it's like more realistic, I guess. I don't I don't know what to call it. Alright. I have my brush. I don't have a weapon. I should probably have a weapon. I how how do you find suspicious sand and or gravel i know you can find ruins but i've never found one so where do i find them i don't know that is the question i guess finding a desert Temple biome. Temple biome. What? A desert temple would be ideal. Yeah. Oh, finally. Fuck yeah. All right. Now I feel safe. Minor party shirt. No more, really. I thought I thought it would be more suspicious sounding like one of these. I guess not. Ah. Oh. I am so blind. Oh. Okay, so I need to like change ta tactics because if I only get one suspicious sand per temple, as I've gotten two times now, then it's not worth it. And time to see what I find, how you find trail ruins, I think they're called. Oh, here we go. found I've found this massive ruin uh, and I've been digging it out but I have not been finding a sniffer egg at all 
And so I thought, hmm, that's weird. What's the percentage chance? And I look it up and it's like, oh, 6.7. I hopefully should have found it by now then, right? I click in on the wiki. And what do I see? You can only get them in warm ocean ruins. In suspicious sand. I am so disappointed. <laughs> I have wasted like three and a half hours on this. Like I like I've been recording for three and a half hours and I've set and I set out in the first hour to do this. I am so disappointed in myself. I'm I'm gonna go back to base. Uh and yeah, recoup. <laughs> I'm going to take a break. I, I need a break from this. Uh, but, ignore that. Um, here is the hall I've, from what I've got. I've got an, a lot of pottery shard. I got one emerald. Signs. I got the, I got the disc. I've gotten so many candles. Uh, I got two smithing templates. Which is pretty neat. Um, and then from the chest in the uh, Desert Temple, I got the Golden Apple name tag, TNT, uh, Glowberries, you know. So, an alright haul by all means. But, oh boy, did I waste my time. All right, uh, so it's been a few days since the last clip. Uh, I got completely distracted. I went to bed after recording and yeah, I haven't really played since then. Um, and while I'm all ready to go to some ocean uh, ocean ruins, I don't dare to do that alone. I would I would like to have a friend with me. And this video is already stupidly long. Uh, so I'm gonna end it there. <laughs> we got like nothing done, but uh but <laughs> better try next time I guess. Uh but yeah. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mess of a video. And I hope you'll stick around for the next one, maybe. <laughs> uh, I'll see y'all later. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>